When the cooler weather sets in, there's nothing I love more than a beautiful chicken soup. And when someone else makes it for you, it's even better, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you must have known, Jazz. Today, I'm showing my nonna's recipe, a chicken brodo with pastina, I guess with San Remo small shells. Mm -hmm. So this is a recipe that I've kind of stepped up a little bit, a few other ingredients in there, but mm -hmm. it just brings me memories, you know, mm. being cold or not feeling well, and you should make this soup. Mm. With the pasta in it, it's unbelievable. I love it. So we start with the classics. Classics, yeah. So really we're making a chicken stock, right, as our basis. So yep. carrot, celery, onion. Okay. Our beautiful chicken here we're going to place into the pot like so. Mm -hmm. And you can do this with fillets. However, to get the true essence of that chicken, mm -hmm. getting that whole chicken that has the bones and all yeah. will make it into a deeper flavour. Well, I think when you're making any base stock or soup in this case, anything on the bone, yeah, meat-wise, protein, yes. is 100% you need, yeah? So that way you get that full flavour. Absolutely. And how do you want the celery cut? Just simply, again, small little dice will be nice. Okay. So in with the carrot now, Jazz, the main thing when you're making a stock is to use cold water, yeah? Yes. Why is it that we use cold water instead of warm water? So that way we don't get a cloudy stock, Jazz. Nice. Okay? Keep it nice and clean and pure. Fantastic. Some thyme, just in half a dozen stalks like so. Thank you, celery. Now, Nonna would never add peppercorns, but this is my little chefy tip, yeah? Just really? add a few peppercorns in there, yeah. Okay. Okay, Judge, so we need to bring our stock up to the boil and then down to a simmer and cook that for an hour and a half. Yep. And then we're going to strain it and then we're going to pull the chicken meat off. Sounds good. Okay, Jazz, look at that, our beautiful soup there, mm, ready to go. So what we've done is taken the chicken out, strained off all the veg, and now it's time to add the pasta. Right. So the small shell is going to take around eight to ten minutes to cook. Sure. In they go. And they're going to absorb a lot of that flavour oh, from yeah. the chicken. Sure. And also the small shell is mm. perfect for soup. So when yep. you're sitting there just obviously consuming it, tasty. Mm. All right. I do a lot of stripping of chickens every day in my chicken shop. So yes. you know what, I'm going to sit back and watch you I thought just I'd do the honours because for me, there's nothing better than just seeing oh. chicken slowly cooked and it just falls apart like that. It's just the best, isn't it? It's beautiful. The main thing is obviously don't put any bones in there or the skin of the chicken. Yeah, you want to keep it nice and clean. Yep. Look. <laughs> this is why I love cooking. This is just Moist. lovely to do for sure. All right, let's wait for that pasta finish cooking and then we'll pop this chicken back in. Yeah. Jazz, look at that amount of chicken meat, yeah? So much chicken. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and we don't need to use it all right now, do no, we? No, definitely not. You keep with something else. All right, I'll go for it. Yeah. Put my hands in there. About half Beautiful. of it. Half of it. Yeah. Fancy. And like you said before, fantastic for sandwiches and mixed with some mayonnaise. Mm, lovely. <laughs> or, you know, another soup. Yes. Or a curry. I mean, there's so many different things you can do with one whole chicken. It just keeps on giving, doesn't it? It does, definitely. Yeah. Look, you know what, it's really like the basis of all cookery here, like simple, hearty food, yeah. soul food, yeah? Absolutely, absolutely. All right. Mmm, those little shells. Look at the shells, guys. I love how there's like little puddles in the shells and yeah. it's just full of that chicken broth. Gorgeous. And just a little sprinkle. Sprinkle parmesan over the top, creaminess, salt, there it is. I know you asked me before, do I add the salt? No need. You no wait. No need. One spoon for you. Done. Mm. Oh, this is a dish that just never gets old. You can do it time and time again. This is what's good for the soul. And those little pasta shells, I love them. Mm -hmm. 